Hi everyone, it's Dawn and I hope you're having a fantastic day. Well, one of the big things that can make or break your entire cruise, no matter what cruise line you're sailing on, that goes for every single cruise ship out there, is if you pick the wrong cabin location. So I'm going to go over my list of what most people consider the worst cabin locations on the ship. And it might not be necessarily for you because of your certain situation, but generally speaking, these are definitely considered the worst cabin locations on a cruise ship. Number one, near the elevators. Now, people with mobility issues, people who don't like to walk a long distance, quite often like to be near the elevators, which are usually near the stairs as well. So if you're on a lower floor, you can just walk down to the main decks, or if you're on a higher floor, you can walk up to the pool deck. Understand that situation. However, if you're on a ship that will cater to large families like Carnival, Norwegian, Royal Caribbean, you may encounter some very noisy times when those cabins. You can just hear it out in the hallway if you're too close to the elevator. People tend to gather around there as meeting place. When they're in that elevator corridor, they're not as quiet sometimes as they are in the corridor for the cabins. They're boisterous and they're talking as if they're in the middle of the pool deck and you can hear it in your cabin and it can go sometimes late, late at night when you get those people returning from the dances and the dance floors and the entertainment. Sometimes one, two in the morning, and if you're one of those people who are in bed by 11, they're gonna wake you up. So yeah, cabins near the elevators, unless you specifically want to be there, especially on ships that cater to kids. Next, anything above or below or beside an entertainment venue. And yes, I mean beside because some cruise ships have entertainment in the middle decks. They'll have a bar up there, but if you just go around the corridor and then turn right, there's cabins down there. So you can hear the music from that bar location. You can hear the music from the theater. You might hear not hear the actual, but you're gonna hear the thump, thump, thump of the beat all the time. So try and avoid anything near the entertainment venues on a cruise ship, especially if you are a light, light sleeper. Yeah, and of course, this has to go for the pool deck. The pool deck as well. One of the things that people notice, it, it, sometimes it depends on the ship, but usually if you're right under the pool deck, around 5 a.m., 6 a.m. you'll hear all the deck chairs being placed out and dragged along the ceiling above you. And it'll knock you right out of a deep sleep because it's very, very noticeable. And so, yeah, you'll also hear the music. If you're on a ship that plays loud music on the upper decks, it'll come right into your cabin as well. Not to mention people running back and forth. You'll hear sometimes the thump, 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 thump of people running over your heads. It's, it, it's probably the biggest chance of having any noise in your cabin is when you're underneath one, uh, a pool deck, for sure. Because usually the buffet and everything is on that same deck and right underneath, right above you. Not a great cabin location. Another cruise location cabin that people sometimes don't even think about. Don't be above the casino. That's right, two reasons. Number one is you're gonna hear the noise from the casino. The casino will run all night and sometimes you will hear people playing and shouting that they won or just the general noise of a whole bunch of people congested into one area plus the machines that are ringing their bells and everything, you'll hear it in your cabin. And also some people say they can smell the smoke from the casino rising through the floor into their cabin if you are especially sensitive to smells. So yeah, avoid being in a cabin right above a casino as well. A location you should be aware of. Number five, a place you probably might want to avoid, especially if you're a light sleeper or suffering possibly from motion sickness, 
is being right at the front of the ship. Doesn't matter if you're high or low, because when the ship is hitting the waves, like this, you will hear it hit the waves. It, you will feel the vibration in the front of the ship hitting the waves. You're better off being in the aft of the ship if you have to choose one of those, you know, usually the forward or aft is, is cheaper than midship uh, for different reasons, but if you're in the aft, you're riding the waves. There's no banging. The waves have already gone by you, so you're just riding the waves. In the front, you're hitting the waves, you're the ship's pushing its way through it, and you will definitely feel and hear it much more often right at the front of the ship. Probably one of the loudest places you'll ever be. Also, I have to say it at the same time, try and know where the anchors are and not be at a cabin or directly near there because when an anchor drops, you're gonna hear it because <laughs> those things are heavy and they're loud and they clank like a son of a gun. So usually it's lower decks, uh, forward in and aft, and yeah, they can really be noisy as well. The good thing is they're only gonna drop once, <laughs> but they will, they will definitely wake you up. Number six, I personally don't have a big problem with it because uh, I'm a relatively quiet cruiser myself. Uh, I have had some noisy experiences though if you have a cabin that's an adjoining cabin. So instead of a wall there, there's a door there. While yes, it can be slightly noisier, generally the walls are paper thin anyway. And generally, if you have a noisy person beside you, it doesn't matter that there's a door there, you're gonna hear the other people in the other room anyway. But if there's a door there, depending on the gap underneath, sometimes there's a gap, which is really surprising. There should never be a gap under the door. But if you, know, you may hear people's normal conversation just a little bit clearer than you would if there was no door there. So if that might be a problem for you, adjoining cabins, keep an eye out for them as well. One more place you should be aware of when you're booking your cabin is to try and avoid being too close to the laundry area. Laundries on ship are often open 24 hours a day and some people prefer to go late at night to do their laundry because there's not a crowd for one thing. Second of all, uh, they can leave their clothes in there a little longer and don't have to worry about people touching it and taking it out because there's very few people using it at night. But I've seen people at two o'clock in the morning, three o'clock in the morning, standing outside the laundry room, talking in the hallway while waiting for their laundry. And if you have to be that cabin that's right in front of the laundry, you're listening to their conversation all night. I have seen it, I've dealt with it myself. And so yeah, avoid the laundry, uh, too close to the laundry, two or three doors down, not so bad, right in front, not a terrific idea. Another weird place, uh, for my final cabin location to be aware of is, uh, well, a couple actually, Let's, we'll, we'll tie them all together. One is to be in a cabin where other people can look at your cabin. So for instance, on Princess, they had that skywalk on the Royal class ships. And if you walked in the skywalk, you could look directly down into the other people's cabins from the balcony right into their rooms if the curtains were open. I, I, hate, I hate those rooms and I hated the design uh, of that. There should have been a, a block there somehow, but I, you know, because of the way the walk is designed, there's no way to do that, but they should have had something there. You just, I hated that part. Also, um, other areas, you know, on some ships, you'll have that, you'll be coming along the outside of the ship and then it juts out and goes further and then juts in again. Well, those, Balconies that jut out can look directly into your cabin if you're the cabin beside them in the area that's not jutted out. So again, people are staring at you while you're on your balcony instead of the ocean, or even worse, they can see right into your cabin. And finally, I don't like to book anything that's right in front and beside the bridge. That area of the ship that sticks out so they can see down the sides of the ship when they're embarking and disembarking, where their captain is. Well, if I go out on my balcony and I look up, I don't want to be staring at the crew members in the bridge looking around at me. 
I, I, I just don't want that. So I don't book forward that close to that area and especially on a high deck where I would sometimes look to my right and I'm basically looking at the backs of crew members looking out the front of the ship of the bridge. I always avoid that area too because again, they can look right back at you in your balcony and sometimes right into your cabin depending on how close you are. So there's my tips for cabins to avoid. Basically anything near noisy areas and anything that might interfere with your privacy when you're alone in your cabins as well. I don't, you know, there's enough cameras out there looking at us. We don't need individuals staring at us too. Well, I hope you appreciate this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Want to see more tips, more tricks, more travel blogs from around the world? Hit that subscribe button till next time. Have yourself a safe and a great vacation.